Warren has been getting harvest equipment ready today. He's also going to have to head down on the marsh to take soil and tissue tests. Having the cranberry vines and the soil analyzed is the best way for Warren to know the vines are going to need for the next year. He just ran in the house to grab a couple pairs of scissors. I'm going to hop in the truck and we're going to head on down um, to take those samples right now. And in order to have the best quality cranberry vines, it's important to understand the nutrition needed to get to that point. He just gave me an order. I can walk in as long as I stay on the fertilizer run and don't squish any berries. That's going to be hard. How far out are we going? I need a representative sample. Something that really signifies fall has come for the cranberry marsh is that it's time to take tissue and soil samples. I'm out here with Warren today just kind of following along as he does this, trying to stay on the fertilizer runs. So he's just going to take this tea and... You always take the top stuff layer off because that give uh, a misrepresentation of the sample. So that comes off the top. That's okay. just that top duff layer. So everything else goes into the sample. You need about a cup of soil. Okay. And you want to take the sample from an area that best represents the growth because you're trying to measure the effectiveness of your fertilizer plan. Taking the samples this fall gives you a better idea of what kind of nutrition the vines need for next year. Exactly. Okay. So then what you want to do is you want to mix it up to make sure that when they take their sample out of the sample to run the tests on, they're getting a true representative of what's in the soil. What are they going to test for then? Like what nutrients? Nitrogen? Nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, uh, soil organic matter, pH. So we're in um, bed A3 and then you're going to do the same thing to bed, did you say bed what? Bed 8, bed 11, and bed 18. I need a little more soil. Now I'm just, <clears throat> I have to sample the tissue above the fruiting, and this is for my tissue test. And you have to sample about a cup of vines, which you won't sample them all in one spot. You'll take some here and you go down. Um, usually you do a zigzag pattern across the bed so you get a representative sample. And then um, I'll pull soil samples from the other locations too get an accurate reading for the whole bed but you, you're looking for a location where it's a good representative of what the whole bed looks like. When when you do that um, like zigzag pattern back and forth you're not con too concerned about stepping on fruit or what's the... Well I stay on my fertilizer runs. So oh okay. I don't like stepping on fruit at uh, all. Yeah I didn't think so. It takes everything you have to grow it I hate to step on it in the end. Tests are a good guide to show any deficiencies that you might not be aware of, but as far as amount of fertilizer and timing, it, it really comes from experience as far as knowing when to put on fertilizer. Looks like a cup, probably. Is that sampling container uh, approved? Yep, approved. <laughs> Whipped topping from roundies. 